Okay, this is a quick video on how to set up your Quadrino board and a quick tutorial on how to use the multi week config version 1.9. This is also for the Quadrino V1 board, not the V2. And before you actually even install it and before you do anything, you want to hook it up to the computer by USB. First, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go onto the computer and uh, what you'll want to do is go to flyingeinstein.com now from there you can go into tutorials which will be right over here on the right hand side go down to multi week and fig you click on that it should bring you to another page that gives you a basic uh, installation guide now, if your Quadrino does not recognize when you plug it in, you're going to need to download the FTDI drivers. Now, when you go into their website, it leads you to what you'll need to download, and it gives you a driver's file. However, we're going to show you that in another video. Now, once you've installed it and it does recognize, what you'll do is plug it in you'll notice that it flashes. Now remember you're not going to have anything connected to it yet. You're just plugging in the basic board by itself. And you'll see it goes into a stable. That means that it did recognize and you would get a thing up here that says uh, installing device driver hardware. Okay now from there you will want to type in on Google multi Wii 1.9 download. Now the first one that comes up is a zip file. When you clip, click into that, you'll notice that it's right here. You can download that and save it onto your desktop on the computer. Now from there, you're going to want to open the folders that you get. And through those folders, you'll have two. One has uh, serials and all the internal uh, software. The next one is the actual folder that you're going to want to use and when you open it up you'll have a couple of different versions that it shows. You'll have a Linux, a Mac, and the uh, Windows. You're going to want to use the Windows. Go down to the EXE file and open that up. And now if yours does show up it will be on one of the COM ports. It's usually not the first one. Now once you click on that, you'll have green. From there, you want to click Start. And once you do that, it should recognize. And now from there, you'll notice that it does show that it has a quadcopter on the view. Now if I move the quad around, it moves on the computer. Now you'll need to make sure that you have Java installed. That way this can run because it uses a flash and Java style setup. So once you've installed Java it should open and run just nicely. Okay from there you want to click on read and that should show the basic settings. They may be a little different than the values I have on here but there will be a default setting and a slight amount of expo which is exponential rates and uh, basically all you would do from the beginning is you go ahead and calibrate and when you hit calibrate you'll notice that this flashes and then it's done and that will no notify you that you've done the complete write over and it is uh, ready to go. And I also uh, calibrate both to make sure that everything is all neutralized and ready to install. Now after you've done that, you can un unhook your Quadrino board and go ahead and start to do the install for your setup here for the X configuration or if you're doing a plus configuration. Now I uh, hope this video helps you out if you have any questions.
just go ahead and leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good day and happy flying.